Hi everyone, it's Tony Powell here from Vertis Machinery. I'd like to uh, talk to you today about a new product we're selling, the GRCS or the Good Rigging Control System, uh, a friction drum uh, or a winch is another way of looking at it. These, uh, I've done quite a bit of research for I bought these into the country from the USA. They're made by uh, Greg Good, who's an arborist who's been in the industry for 35 years. Uh, and they really are the Rolls Royce of, uh, of equipment. So any tree surgeon or arborist, I definitely recommend uh, getting hold of one of these. Uh, they're not cheap, they're expensive, but they're a quality made piece of equipment and it will basically save you getting in a crane one day and also an extra set of hands as well. So this is the, uh, the piece of equipment you can see we've put around a tree today. It takes the uh, full uh, five uh, turns of a three quarter inch um, line. Um, and let's have a look at it in more detail if you look up closely at the individual uh, parts of the machine. So here we are with the, uh, the actual uh, winch itself. As I said before, this is the uh, upgraded uh, winch. It'll take the full five uh, turns of a three quarter inch uh, line. It's obviously a, uh, it's a two speed winch. Um, it's actually been adapted from a boat winch made by Harkin in the USA. A quality piece of equipment, stainless steel, um, brass um, bearings and uh, cogs inside. A really great bit of equipment. So, uh, when you don't quite need all the extra leverage, you can uh, turn it uh, one way and when it starts to get tighter, take it the other way. So it's a, it's a true two-speed winch. That, that's really the, the, the guts of the, uh, of the piece of equipment. Um, uh, if you're just going to be taking down a tree, what I recommend is, uh, which comes with it standard as well, is the aluminium bollard. Uh, it's, it's a lighter weight, uh, dissipates the heat uh, much better. Uh, once again, it's all uh, laser welded uh, by a robot. You can see inside there, it's uh, great uh, build quality and really well, uh, really well made. Um, I've actually taken apart the uh, the two parts. This is the, the wrap which goes around the tree itself. You've obviously got the uh, uh, um, pipe to actually tighten it up. Uh, the wrap itself is six metres long, so it'll go around uh, any trees uh, in, in Australia. Um, moving along to the actual uh, base plate. Uh, you can see you've got uh, three different um, points to, to guide the, uh, the rope through, uh, the two pigtails and the, and the top one itself. Um, something which I, I highly recommend, um, if we look at, just turn it around, uh, you can see a closer, closer look at this piece of equipment. You can see it's made out of 8mm steel, once again all laser welded. Um, so you've got lots of the pads on the back here which provide the friction going onto the tree. If you're not going to be, if you are going to be taking down the tree, something I highly recommend and uh, is to actually use, uh, they call it a beaker or visor. So what this allows you to do is if you've got a, um, if the tree's going to be cut down, you can cut a scurf cut horizontal. I'm trying to hold this in one hand and show you it's a bit hard, but I cut a scurf cut in. The actual beak uh, will slide in there or the visor will slide in there and then that allows you to uh, put it flush. Um, on the actual uh, visor itself, you can see it sits not really nicely uh, inside there. And then, of course, we can uh, secure it with these uh, two locking lugs here, and uh, of course the pin that uh, that goes in there is uh, as well. So, as I said, it reduces the uh, the wear on your uh, on those pads, which we do have replaceable pads, and we can supply those as well. But um, a much better, more secure way of um, of using the equipment, as I said, if you are going to take the whole uh, tree down itself. Uh, one more thing, uh, the high speed uh, bit, which you can use uh, obviously in, in the winch itself, so if you've got a particularly long lift, uh, also to save yourself some time, rather than manually cranking uh, the winch, you can uh, use this uh, in a, any, any, any standard here. Um, and uh, just reduces your workload, also increases your productivity, and works both ways as well. Um, just by obviously reversing the drill. Another uh, valuable accessory which I highly uh, recommend. Well that's an overview of the uh, GRCS or the Good Rigging Control System. As I said it's a great piece of equipment. I believe every arborist or tree surgeon should uh, have one as part of their standard tools of the trade. We've got another, all the other arborist supplies uh, at uh, Virtus Machinery. Have a look at our website virtusmachinery.com.au. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any questions please uh, contact us on the links below. Thanks. This is a video taken in 2004 in the USA. It's just a demonstration of how strongly built the GRCS is. Now keep in mind that it's showing the older model winch and the also the older model uh, base plate, which has subsequently been uh, improved and increased. 
Also, it doesn't show the beak or the visor, which is now an optional extra for the uh, winch. Obviously, it in no way uh, meant as an endorsement to intentionally overload the system, and of course, if you were to, it may result in serious injury or death. Now the device is set in a seat that is sawn into the tree. The binding strap is drawn up extra tight. Franz secures a tether to keep the log from spinning. It's lifted back into position. Ken takes the wraps just as before. Paul Bernier chops the arborplex. Double braids snapped. But it didn't break at the marl as predicted it would. Instead, it broke under the wraps on the device itself. A fusion failure, Ken says. Watch it again. Now we're going to step up the three-quarter inch double braid. Braided at 20,000 pounds. Ken sets it hand tight. There it goes. The three-quarter inch took the hit without breaking. Franz wants to use the same capstan for the Volvo drop test again. Watch the cinch strap into the trunk. Franz says that he's confident the GRCS will handle the Volvo this time. We'll see. It did, but if it wasn't for notching the trunk, the binding strap would have lost its ability to hold the device in place. Watch it in slow-mo. Now the bullet is going to be subjected to the same punishment. This is the GRCS companion meant for dynamic loading. Franz takes another measure. Lag bolts are butted against the base plate to help hold it in place. Franz wants to see if the lags can help bolster the mounting. The Volvo is lifted into position. Wraps are taken on the bollard and the end is made fast to a stump. The bowler didn't flinch, and neither did the mounting. But the 9 16th choker securing the load block failed. Watch it in slow motion as the choker hits the back of the Volvo. It appears the lags did help secure the base plate. And the fair lead this time suffered no damage. It should be clearly understood that the persons using these devices must never subject them to the loads demonstrated in this video because nothing other than catastrophic failure will result and the many adverse consequences that are prone to follow it. It must also be well understood that solid mounting of these devices is paramount to their safe and proper use. Otherwise, take it from the drop test crew. When it comes to dynamic loading, don't push your luck. Catch. Long the way.